Dear Christian brothers and sisters in Christ, I am here today to give you words of God. Isn't that woman who will not find herself a husband and be making noise with words of God disturbing us? She didn't see anywhere to take her evangelism to, now in front of my house. No, not my house. Let me put some sense into her mind. Stop, stop it. You are making noise in my husband's house. This is not what you need. Go get yourself a husband, you're getting old. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Your age are in their husband's house, many of them have finished giving birth, and you're still in your father's house carrying the Bible up and down preaching here and there, as if you're the owner. Madam, you know what? I am not worried, it takes patience, endurance and faith in God to move God, that is what I am doing. And I believe I will not regret doing this to myself madam, patience, endurance and have faith in God are my friends. I am ashamed to have you as a neighbor living close to my house. God's time is the best, when it is time for God to bless me or put smile on my face by giving me my own husband he will. <laughs> God time is the best indeed. Tell me which man in his right senses will see a person dressed like you, walking up and down like a mad person in the name of evangelism, and wish to marry her. I can see you don't feel sorry for yourself. Hear me out, I am getting tired of allowing you to stand in front of my house to preach. Start looking for a place to stay because this place will no longer be used for this your things. You are more than old enough to have your own husband's house. You are here preaching as if everything is all right with you. Go and do what is important. God never abandons those who put their trust in him, madam. He has done some before, so I am not bothered. I am a Christian, and there are lots of things a Christian must not do when the going gets tough. One is don't focus on that unpleasantness, you will gain nothing but depression. Two, don't rely on your connections or abilities. You will only be disappointed. 3. Don't give in to negative emotions. You will wear yourself out. 4. Don't try to outrun God. You'll only end up in the wrong place, with deeper problems, and regret it forever. Instead, be patient. Lastly, don't give up on God. You will gain nothing by doing so, and you will make your situation worse. I must remain in faith. Only then will God remember me. That is why Psalm 121 verse 1 to 8 says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved, he that keepeth me will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper, the Lord is my shade upon my right hand. The sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve me from all evil, he shall preserve my soul. He will surely see me through. I am not afraid because, I know he is always there for me. We need to have patience in life, so that we will not make mistakes that we will regret till the end of our lives. When God is silent, it means we should wait because it is not the right time. Lamentations 3 verse 24 to 26, confirms it by saying, The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, and to the soul who seeks him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. You can see that for yourself. And as for the evangelism, it is my father's business. No believer can be all that God intends him or she to be, or do all that the Lord has appointed for him or her to accomplish in this world, without the Holy Ghost. Therefore, I will consecrate my life to God, and be sanctified by faith in Christ Jesus, and pressed forward to having the glorious experience of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. If it pleases God to bless me, he will. If not, so be it. Leave my place now. Get out of my sight. I don't want to see you anymore. Please carry your evangelism away. <laughs> are you seeing what I am seeing? What are you seeing that I am not seeing? That woman who still lived in her father's house is here to preach us. 
I even heard no man is seeing attractive her in this town, I am sure, no man wants to get embarrassed for marrying her. That's why she has been carrying herself out for five years without a husband. I bring good news to you Jesus. Your Savior is calling you give him a chance in your life. Repent of your sin and escape the wrath of God that is coming. It will be terrible for you in a waste of Jesus' sacrifice in your life. If you die without knowing Jesus, look at her. She is not even ashamed that as old as she is. She is still in her father's house. Who will marry her like that, my sister? Look at how she has turned herself into a town crier. Acting like she is the one that has the key to happiness. If you were a man, would you marry someone like her? God forbid. I will never do that. <laughs> I can see she is here again. I guess I am not referring to anybody. Anyway, what is keeping my sweet husband? He should come home. I am waiting. I am married. It is not carrying the Bible that matters. I am in my husband's house, not my father's house. That is progress. Oh God, the mockery is too much. I am in pain save me from this shame nevertheless, let your will be done in my life for your will is perfect and gives everlasting peace praise the Lord. Come to Jesus and be free. He is the only way to escape, for the Bible said there is no other name. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name, under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. You can see that Jesus is the only way come to your Savior, who died on the cross of Calvary to set you free from sin. Eternity is near and there, are only two places to spend eternity, heaven and hell. Choose one and be very sure of your choice, to avoid if I had known now, you know and you also know that no sinner will inherit the kingdom of God that is heaven. This is not what is needed. You must get yourself a husband and stop living in your father's house as if you are already living in your husband's house. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Thank you. God's time is the best. I have a question for you. Is it your father or Jesus that will marry you? Go and marry first then you can come and preach to me. You are getting old day by day. The bone of my bone, what is keeping you? Please come find me, the shame is too much for me. Where are you please come, I am waiting, my heart is in pain while waiting for you, don't keep me waiting any longer. Break every barrier that is holding you down and come find me. I can't wait to receive embarrassment from my fellow women again. You are here in my house sir. Come and let's sit down. My name is Daniel Brown, I am business investor. I only invest my money in company that of high rank and well designed. I go to many countries to invest, and here I am wanted to invest into your company, again. I have heard the good name your company has so far. Besides, how your company has been useful to people in this community and also brings development to this town. I realize that if I invest into this company, you will get benefits. I will get benefits and the people will also benefit from us. I want to ask if you will agree for me to invest into your company. What? You want to invest into my company? Oh Lord, thank you God. This has been my prayers. I have agreed sir. Okay, I will be taking my leave. Oh, am I that this big man wants to invest into my company? If not God's doing, who else can do this? I am happy that my company is now going to get big. Thank you God. Mother, I am hungry. I want to get something to eat, but the kitchen is locked. And what if the kitchen is locked? The kitchen is my kitchen, so I decide when to lock it or not. I am sorry. Please give me the key. Let me find something to eat. Listen, stop disturbing me. If you want to have a kitchen, go and marry, so that you have your own kitchen. This is my husband's kitchen. I am not opening it for any reason. Now get out of my sight. Nonsense. Because I allowed you to use my kitchen as you like, that is why you are not bordered about marriage. Come and enter my kitchen again let me see. 
Very soon, I will pursue you out of this house, look for your own husband. Let me have grandchildren. God my father I am tired. I need my own husband, let him locate me if he is not ready, make him ready, if he is having financial problems that are taking his mind away from marriage open the doors of heaven and pour your blessing upon him so that he will locate me in Jesus name I pray, Amen. Vivian, I am the Lord, your marriage time is due. I am going to make your husband ready for you. O oh God you are great, finally, you remembered me. I have make it, Pablo has finally made it in life. Be glorified, O oh Lord. I wouldn't have done it without you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Please Father, you have given me more than I ever thought of. I need a wife. A bone from my bone please let me locate her. Let this be the sign. As I go out this morning, any first lady that dresses genuinely and shows a mark of fear of God, let her be my wife. How many years old am I now? No man has ever said hello, let alone asked for my hand in marriage. I am beginning to think that my mother was right. Maybe I am not attractive the way I am. Come to think of it, who will marry me like this? They may think I have already married because of the way I am dressing. I am no longer getting young. I think I should change my dressing and stop all this evangelism of a thing. It is not helping me. From now on, I will start dressing like a single lady searching for a husband. I will do just that. I need a husband, please. In fact, no more preaching. I am tired. I don't think I will continue to pretend as if I am not bordered. Whereby I am dying inside. My patience has run out. I am going to look for a husband. I no longer care. Let me be like my fellow women. I am looking good myself, very good. Beauty is coming, all eyes must be on me. I am good to go now. Know how they will not stop me. Heavenly Father, I am going. Direct my footstep. Any single lady that passes here and dresses well as my wife. Too bad, I can't make this person my wife. She is a club girl. God let me locate my husband today. Wow, a very nice man is coming. Let him notice me God. Oh no, I cannot marry this person. Let me go home. Oh God, why is he going back? He should notice me, I am good enough to be a wife. I thought if I stopped the work of God and started dressing like this, I would see a husband. The genuine man never approached me or come to my way. Why am I not seeing a genuine man? All I'm seeing is fake ones. The playboys, eat and run. Oh no, so dressing is not the cause after all. Come to think of it, is there any reasonable man that would like to marry a woman dressed like me? Oh God, I'm sorry. I know you have a good plan for me. Please forgive my maturity. Marriage or no marriage, I will worship you. After all, earth is not a permanent place. No one knows when he or she will leave the earth, so why am I killing myself over something that will soon vanish away? Father, forgive me for rebelling against you. I am ready now to serve you till I die. I will no longer backslide because of earthly desire or persecution. If I should fall because of persecution and trials, that means I am not qualified for the heavenly reign. What kind of dream is this? Me dressing half naked to look for a husband? God forbid. Oh my God, thank you that it's a dream. Vivian, what are you saying? Mother it's nothing, I just had a nightmare. Since you have made your mind not to get yourself a man, I will also not make you rest in this house. Have you finished washing the clothes I asked you to wash? Yes, I have. No problem, go to the market and buy stocks for this evening dinner. Make sure you don't keep long. Take the money. I hear you mother. 
brother. How do I look? Gorgeous. In fact, you look bright and good. But brother, where did you say we are going? What? Do you see the woman entering the market? She is a marriage material. Yes, I have found my wife. Be glorified, God. Let me approach her. Please excuse me, sister. Yes. Please. I am Pablo. I want to know you more. Can you please take me to your family? Why? I hope there is no problem. Or is there a problem you are seeing on me? Absolutely not. I want to make you my wife. Please marry me. Don't say no. What? You want to marry me? Who am I, God? Thank you God that my marriage time has come. I will marry you. I love you. <laughs>